Today, we are going to be talking about SQL and the forbidden things you were to use in SQL, uh, particularly in Koha. So uh, George is going to be leading that through, uh, leading us through that today. But first, I'm Christopher Brandon with the Coeur d'Alene Public Library and the Cooperative Information Network. And I am George Williams. I'm the Next Search Catalog Coordinator at Northeast Kansas Library System. So, George, there are forbidden things to say in SQL. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, and this is only in Koha SQL. Right. Um, so there are, there's a list of words that's been for a long time, you know, um, in Koha, the reports that we write are select, are, are SQL select queries. Um, but SQL also has commands uh, of update, delete, drop, insert, show, and create, which is only six. I really wish there were seven because George Carlin famously had his seven words you can't say on television, but we've only got six. I in think Koha you can't reports. Use set. Did you say set? No, set isn't one of the ones. I think uh, we can test it. I, I, I um, haven't been able to use it, so I, I think we could we could safely well, say that you can't use set. Uh, we can test set, but I it's not one of the ones that's uh, that's in the Koha code is marked as a forbidden word. It's it it might trigger an error, but it would trigger a different kind of error. So anyway, um, there have been for a long time those those six words: update, delete, drop, insert, show, and create. If you try to put those into a uh, SQL report in Koha, you'll get an error message. And with the most recent update that we underwent to Koha 2405, um, there are some new ones. And I'm going to move my screen over here so I can see what they are. Password, token, UUID, and secret. Are, are the new ones that were added in 2405. And so let me jump over to Koha and show you what's going on. So there's, uh, well, there's the Koha US website. What a great website that is. Here we've got, uh, I'm on the Koha US demo system. And to show you this new problem that comes with 2405, uh, the new situation, I'm going to do select asterisk from borrowers. This should, you know, this is this is the way that I teach people how to write reports. Is I always say, let's start off with the the simplest report you can write. Select asterisk from borrowers. Um, if I update that and run it, I'm going to get this message saying um, the Koha database returned the following errors. Uh, well, that's weird. That's not the error I was expecting. Hmm. Select star from borrowers. That's, you know, I just tested this before we, before I got on. Maybe um, from borrowers. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Column selection in this report includes a password field. Yeah, so this is the error I was expecting. I think it's because yes. I, I because I had borrowers capitalized. So the column Interesting. selection. I didn't know you couldn't do that. Yeah, I, I never encountered that either. I, I maybe there's more going on now. It used to be capitalization didn't make a difference, but now it apparently does that is odd okay so we're learning right here live in the episode <laughs> okay so this is the report that i always teach people how to write reports with it's select star from borrowers and if you run it now you get this message saying 
that the column selection in this report includes a password field. So the first time I encountered this, I said, well, that's interesting. That didn't used to do that. Right. And so I did what I think of as the next best thing, um, which is I just wrote it all out um, as a big report that says, you know, I've got each individual column listed separately and you get the same issue. You know, there's, it contains a password field. Um, so after doing some research, after going through things bit by bit, um, in the borrowers table, there are three fields that you can't pull. Whoops. There we go. So borrower's password is one. Mm -hmm. Borrower's secret is number two. And borrower's overdrive auth, auth token, overdrive underscore auth token. All three of those are now words that you can't use in a SQL report. And this goes back to, well, I found the bug for it, and it's bug 37508. Um, SQL reports should not show patron pas password if the hash is queried. So all of these fields include data that when you input it into Koha, it's encrypted. And so there was a bug, and this was added in uh, just this last July is when the bug was reported and then it was uh it was uh pushed into koha sometime before we went on to 2405 but what it does is it just um it creates a situation where you can't put those fields into a report in koha because the data there could be sensitive data hmm. and we can actually go to the um the module in Koha, if you go to GitLab and you go to the Koha repository, if you go to report PM, um, this is the code here. Uh, where is it? Um, here it is. So it's this lines 31 through 34 or 33 in this file. And so these column matches, password, token, UUID, and secret, are now columns that you can't pull out of Koha in a SQL report because the data in them is encrypted. It used to be you could get the data and you would just see this long string of like 64 digits, uh, 64, you know, you know, like in the 60s of scrambled alphanumeric characters. Um, it was encrypted, yeah. Yeah, and now you can't even see that data. And so this means Which that it... It, it 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 annoys me a little bit because you know when you're doing some you, when when I start to write a SQL I'll start off with the entire table and then I'll whittle it down to the fields that I need but I will commonly use an asterisk and now this really you know puts a crimp in in the approach to my you know on my workflow on how I start a uh, uh, a report based off of one of these particular tables because now it's giving you these throwing these errors and you have to go put you know you you either have to build your your columns specifically to what you want or throw you know build all the columns and then whittle out what you don't want and it's it's just a really i don't know it it complicates the process on on this particular table i think i think um i would have preferred it if they had you know said okay we're just going to redact that information so you know they could put redacted in place of the actual data that would have been preferable and not break you know the asterisk capability yeah well you know i'm okay with it because eventually you know there's it prevents people from injecting SQL into Koha and getting data out of it that, you know, even though the data is encrypted, you know, the, you know, breaking the encryption starts with having the data to, to decrypt. Right. So I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. It does, you know, the first line here, 
you know, says these are the columns that we're gonna we're gonna prevent you from getting from a SQL report. And but then it whitelists some of them because there are things that you do want, like password expiration, password expiry days, reset password, change password, minimum password length, require strong password, password expiration. Um, there's a bunch here that you might actually that that you might actually need in a SQL report. Um, so they they forbade all these columns, but then they whitelisted a few that that can do a partial match on those. Hmm. So that's the new information for uh, for 2405, for those of you that have just uh, moved to 2405. There are some, this is also the file though, where you can find those previously forbidden words. And that's further down in the file. This is just a regex that says, you know, if somebody tries to use update, delete, drop, insert, show, or create, in a SQL report, those will fail. But the way to write um, to get rid of these is e you can't even just comment them out um, because they're still in there. Um, hmm. So what this what this piece of new code is doing is it's saying if you try to if you try to run a report and these are in the SQL box, even if they're commented out. Um, they're going to trigger that error message. So you got to actually take them out Boy. and uh, pull them. And then you can uh, update and run. And then you'll get the, the data minus those columns. And this is all uh, on the Koha US test server. So these aren't real. Uh, these aren't real accounts. But the... Um, the other ones, what I did is I wrote a report here, and this is another simple report that I use. This is just, you know, a basic Biblio um, report. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to say, let's call Biblio number as, let's rename this column from Biblio number to delete. Um, when you try to save it, you're going to get a, a better error message. This will actually say this report contains the, S, the SQL keyword delete. So you're actually going to know from this error message what mistake it is you're making. Um, that's one thing I like about this error message is it actually tells you exactly what you need to do to fix it. Um, and we've got uh, update. We'll also trigger that and um, you thought set yeah see set is used to set variables and you don't necessarily it's not necessarily uh, griping about it in the same manner, but um, yeah, it just doesn't like the. It's it's yeah. not triggering the same kind of error. It's triggering a a different kind of error. So it's not a forbidden word so much. It's as being it's, addressed somewhere else. Yeah, but those are the things I'm actually. Um, you know, I thought about it and I looked at these at the Koha Wiki. And in the SQL reports library, and there's a lot of good instructions here, but there isn't anything about these forbidden words, um, words that you can't use in the SQL report. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, before this video is released, I'll write an article and add it to the SQL reports library that says this, these are the words you can't use. And this is why. Yeah, it's, you know, it's good to know what these things are out of the box because, uh, you know, you, you run into these error messages and sometimes sometimes they're not as clear on the errors as you'd like them to be, uh, especially especially if you run into some logic errors in, in your, your database. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit um, cryptic. These are a little bit more straightforward uh, in explaining what the situation is. But even even the issue between uh, those forbidden words and the word set 
uh, there was a little bit of difference there and yeah, the set wasn't necessarily straightforward. So, um, <clears throat> I think the so, first time I encountered the forbidden words were I was creating a report for a library and they just wanted a report to know which things to delete. And so I wanted to call the column delete. Right. And then I got this error message saying, you can't use the word delete. Can you um, use a form of the word like deleted? Yes. It has to be an exact match for that. So I think I renamed the column to delete underscore these. And I think that that worked. Um, something like that. It was it was pretty easy to fix. Um, it was pretty easy to work around, but um, there had been no indication to me at, at, before that point why I couldn't use that word. But it makes sense to me. I mean, even though the interface in Koha is designed um, so that you can't, so that all you can do is select uh, queries. Um, even though the interface is designed that way, it's this is just a like a, these are the suspenders to the belt mm -hmm. that you can't even use those words because deleting a table, I mean, that's what delete does in SQL is it would delete a table. And if you accidentally delete your biblio table, that's going to cause a problem. Um, right. And so we, this have, is, we have to keep in mind too, that, you know, if, you know, we can only do so much in the interface and I can't, I can imagine that there is a possibility of contamination or crossover if these reports are um, transferred over on the back end for something. Right. Uh, if we were able to have those words in there, it could cause some damage. So uh, it's a it's a good safety precaution. Um, you know, I you you reminded me of the. Um, the fields that were not being allowed to even be mentioned or displayed uh, in the borrowers. And it's like, I, I completely forgot about that because that's so new. But, you know, again, for me, it's, it's a little annoying because you have to, you have to work around that instead of being able to use the asterisk now on that table. Um, there aren't any other tables affected in that way right i don't know uh, well there might be some others deleted borrowers of course yeah but uh yeah that's you know inter you, you an interesting the, approach those uh those words include password token uuid and secret and i only saw password and password token and secret in the borrowers table um, so UUID must be in another table that we're the outside of borrowers. So, yeah, um, so. I'll, I can also try to, when I add this information to the wiki, I can also try and find a list of which tables have uh, fields that will trigger this problem or trigger this yeah. new feature. Again, good things for us to know, uh, especially those of us uh, getting started in uh, SQL, um, you know, it, it's hard enough to try and figure out, a, you know, how to write SQL, but then to have these little tripping points, you know, you, you get these, you get these messages because your log logic isn't necessarily sound, but to get these additional things can, I can see how that could be a little frustrating to, to new, uh, pe uh people new to SQL. So, Right. Don't get, get don't get discouraged. You know, just be aware of these things. And uh, if you have questions, reach out to uh, people in Mattermost. Yeah, we'd love to answer those questions. Or you can even comment on our videos. Or come to a Koha US meeting. Yep. Just don't show up my, at my door and ask. No, uh, but we can get the uh, the address for his library. <laughs> All right, George. Thank you very much for See you next there. time. All right.